I would be remiss because you're out there in rooms we don't get to go um and there's a lot of interest right now on everything from inflation to where the economy's going what are you seeing you know are are you are you optimistic about the next 12 mm -hmm. months well, 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 let measure. me. Yeah, well, let me first say that um, you're a public company now, so you have to watch your words. But it, it's kidding. Yeah, I mean, look, for us, um, it, it's about you know empathy for the consumer. I mean, I think the consumer uh, has had a challenging last eighteen months um, because of inflation. Because of inflation, absolutely. I mean, you know, just the cost of supermarket groceries and and everything that they're dealing with. Did on you a raise day -to -day. your prices? We, we've tried very hard with our supply chain to maintain our prices. Um, you know, we, we've done it in most every product that we have at this mm -hmm. point. Um, you know, again, we really believe it's about delivering extraordinary value to the consumer. Um, you know, we have seen some of the pricing pressure that we saw last year mm -hmm. um, dissipate um, and, and costs have come down, things like freight rates you know, are down significantly from where they were last year, commodity prices. So, you know, we're we're focused on it. But what I will say is the consumer is going to keep expecting more. Um, they're, they're going to want more value for what they're buying. Um, as I said in the beginning, you know, I mean, for them to turn over their hard earned money to any company, you know, that company has got to go above and beyond. And I think that's what we're, we're focused on trying to do every day. I'm, I'm curious, you know, Mark, when you think about the demographics of your customers, I mean, my, I'll be honest, the ninja in our household, my daughter brought it in um, and she's in Gen Z. And uh, do you see different buying patterns there? Because a lot of the discussion is around the circular economy and, and not quite as comfortable with things that break and, get replaced yeah. on a 18 month basis, which is yeah. probably my history. Yeah. So what I would say is that, you know, if you asked us maybe six, seven years ago, we would say that, you know, the target shark or ninja consumer might be a 35 to 55 year old woman. I think you look at today, um, we are some of the most watched products on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, you know, our Shark Flex style product that launched in beauty, our Ninja Creamy product that launched at, 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 of an at home ice cream maker, you know, has over 800 million views on TikTok. So wow. we're attracting a younger and younger consumer. I mean, high school age consumers. We entered into the robot business in 2017. We entered into the outdoor cooking What's, business. What do you do in the robot business? So we sell vacuum oh, and, like and, a, and mopping robots. I'm not going to mention a rival yeah. brand. <laughs> We uh, Such as. we entered into uh, the outdoor cooking business in 2022. It's bringing in a much more male consumer into our into our uh, consumer base. So so the the demographics of the consumer is getting you know much much broader than it was. You know, do you even see just a different five. buying style? I mean, obviously the TikTok resonates as a platform, but are the demands any different? The, the, the demands are not. I mean, the, okay. the, the expectation of the consumer is, you know, performance, quality and value, you know, no matter whether it's, a, you know, product being sold to a college age student or, a, you know, uh, someone older. So so, no, we're not seeing that. But I I think what's exciting is that the brand and the products are appealing to a much broader demographic base. Do you ever worry about having too many brand extensions? I mean, what kind of things do you say no to? We say no to a lot of things. I mean, I mean, I remember it, asking Donald Trump that question. He said coffins. Yeah. I said, OK, <laughs> good, good answer. Right. Not, not that you want to put your brand on. We um, yeah. look, I, I think you have to earn the right uh, to to uh, introduce something new to the consumer. I mean, I'll give you an example. We had a you know, great idea for an outdoor cooking appliance back five years ago, but we hadn't launched our first indoor cooking product. We became, over the course of a four-year period, the number one market share for indoor cooking appliances. And it was only after then that we felt like we could go outdoors and the consumer would be willing to go outdoors So you outdoors started with, with the us. indoor, you reached market scale with that, and then you launched the outdoor. Exactly.